Hello everyone. This is webinar from Franklin Agritech and I am Gagandeep Jain. I'm going to talk about horticulture in New Zealand, what is its status and why it is important for New Zealand. And then I will go on to Franklin Agritech, how it can help you to get into horticulture industry. So uh, before we discuss anything, let's just briefly discuss what is horticulture. As we see in the first slide, I'll quickly hide my camera. So, okay. So we have slide here, it says horticulture. So guys, horticulture uh, is basically growing plants and these plants can be grown for different purposes. It can be for forestation, you can grow native plants, you can grow for ornamental purposes or you can grow edible plants for meeting the food needs, growing fresh supplies, vegetables, fruits. So all those plant growing practices are under horticulture practices. So these are all horticulture sectors we have in New Zealand and they are quite prominent. So these plant production systems guys can vary depending on your growing system. For example, there are majorly outdoor production areas. There are greenhouses. There are few modern urban production areas. There is organic production. So outdoor production areas mostly involve growing vegetable plants, um, forest trees and some native and other type of plants. Greenhouse production uh, strictly restrict to vegetable plant growing and flower production. A lot of greenhouses are based in northern part of New Zealand and they mostly focus on producing vegetable plants, uh, off-season vegetable crops. And this, the modern urban uh, growing system is quite recent in New Zealand and we don't really have many farms which use this technology. However, it's picking up and a lot of people are going towards this facility because it uses minimum space and you can get a lot of production from very small area. Uh, this next slide guys show you the different areas of uh, New Zealand. So we have the country divided into all these different regions and all these regions have their own specific climate and their own specialized horticulture um, production. For example, if you look at Auckland, it's a major vegetable production hub. And if you move towards Bay of Plenty, as we all know, it's a hub for kiwi and avocado production. And then you move towards Hawke's Bay, it's famous for uh, apples and other pip fruits. So based on that, all different areas have different climate and different soil and different environment which favor specialized um, horticulture crops. So that's how they get their own special crops. So New Zealand on its own has a horticulture as primary industry and it has a lot of strength in developing this industry more and it's a primary industry it it it, it provides a lot of um, economic benefit to the country because new zealand has good climate it has uniformly distributed rainfall we have agencies like good agriculture practices which ensure that our produce is of high quality and can be exported at good value to other countries. So all these strengths makes New Zealand perfect for a uh, horticulture industry. So New Zealand horticulture export uh, is a big part of the economy. And if you look at the screen, uh, these uh, data shows that um, it's expected by 2023, we will have $6 billion worth of export from uh, New Zealand industry. And the major part is kiwi fruit, and then there's wine and other fruits, and small part is from fresh vegetables as well. So all these include together uh, plays a big role in export industry. In this New Zealand horticulture industry, guys, we have um, big potential. There is a lot of demand, however, we do lack trained workforce. People always struggle to find suitable uh, stu suitable workers for the work. If you look at the graph on your screen, it says um, in 2012, we needed 15,000 people who are skilled and qualified for horticulture. By 2025, we might need 30,000 people who are skilled 
and qualified in horticulture because horticulture is a skilled job you cannot have worker who doesn't have basic uh, knowledge of plant growing irrigation fertigation pest and disease so you need all those um, skills and for the better performance of your business and there's a high demand in the market so if you have skills basic skills in horticulture there are different industries where you can get into you can get into plant nurseries garden centers landscape designing flower production fruit production greenhouses council parks so there are a lot of different areas you can get into and the jobs can be um, growers uh, pest scouters sale representative production manager biosecurity quarantine officer so there are big list of jobs which you can do if you are in the industry if you don't want to um, work in the industry you can also start your own setup because it's um, not a big setup you don't need um, quite big investment unless you are going for quite modern technologies if you want to have a smaller growing setup it's quite easy to do it in New Zealand uh, there are not many requirements from government and it's a low capital requirement. You can either lease a greenhouse if you don't have your own land. And there are a lot of agencies. There are a lot of people who give you technical advice and support is excellent. And all the produce you um, grow in your small enterprise, you can sell it to shops. You can supply it to local markets. There's a good supply chain. So overall, it's quite easy to set up your own business small scale business if you don't have big funds rather than working in an industry already so to summarize horticulture in new zealand it's a primary uh, sector it has a high demand it plays important role for new zealand economy and we need trained manpower there's a, a sufficient lack and people are needed in the industry so immigration has classified horticulture as a short skilled category and government is emphasizing on developing more and more training center where people can be trained and uh, employed in the industry. So it's a good opportunity to get trained and get into this industry um, if you are interested in horticulture. So there are a lot of, um, th actually there are not many options in New Zealand to study um, horticulture. There are only few institutes and just few of them are specialized uh, like Franklin Agritech is one of them and we are specialized horticulture institute we don't do not do any other courses so uh, this um, Franklin Institute is based in Auckland and Torang and offers two basic programs one is level four certificate in horticulture production and other is diploma in horticulture production which is at level five so both these courses um, are suitable for international and domestic students and they involve a lot of practical learning they involve a lot of uh, theoretical knowledge they improve your overall understanding of horticulture industry and they train you for basic growing practices and they make you job ready so if you have any of these qualifications you are required in the industry there are a lot of opportunities for you to get into these courses, we have different entry requirements. So if you are an international student, uh, you need to be at least 18 years or above and your qualification should be at least senior secondary level and the fee structure is approximately 17,500 per year. And But there are scholarships available if you are competent enough and plus you also need English competency. So minimum requirement for English language is I I'll exam 5.5 band and for domestic stu students um, you need to be at least 17 years old and minimum qualification is NCA level 2. For domestic students uh, New Zealand government has provided fees free eligibility so if you are eligible you can do this course for uh, fees free you don't have to pay anything and the government pays for so guys, when you do this course, uh, there are a lot of things you learn, a lot of practical things. You basically learn about the plant structure, growing techniques, uh, different propagation, how to manage pest and disease, growing medium, nutrition, and all those things. So in my next webinars, I'm planning to talk about the content in detail. So when you join in for next webinar, we'll have much more details about 
what sort of content we deliver, how we do practicals, and how they can be helpful for uh, getting a job in the for our Franklin Agritech guys, we have uh, because we are part of Rupex Grow Tech, that's a leading growing uh, seedling production nursery in the area, and it's been here for over 20 years now. So because of that, Franklin Agritech have strong ties within the industry. We have links with a um, lot of growers, a lot of uh, local producers. So because of those links, we have strong placement um, eligibility. So our people are needed. Our students are always needed in the industry and industry contact us and we can help you in the plan. So if you look at these uh, few industries on your screen, um, Blooming Hill, Gallet, Government Paprika. So all these industries are associated with Franklin Agritech and we can give a placement from time to time to these industries. And if you um, are a recent graduate from Franklin, you know that uh, there, there is a good demand and people are appreciated um, if you go to the industry and there is a good demand for graduates from Franklin Agritech. Uh, this gives you an opportunity to join and learn and start a career in the horticulture industry. And if you're interested um, in learning more about this course and you have any question, you can uh, contact me. You can, there's a email address on the screen. There's a phone number of our um, CEO, Dr. Raj Saini. Uh, you can go to our website, which is uh, Zealand, And you can contact us anytime for any of your questions. Next time, I'll describe much more about the content we deliver in the courses. And thank you for joining in the session. Thank you very much.